Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to develop hand independence or hand coordination as well as improvise on the piano. So a lot of the times we do hand coordination or hand independence workouts, they are always portrayed as exercises. So in this particular lesson, I hope to give you something creative and not only give you something which you have to play with me through the lesson, but also hopefully motivate you to create your own concepts or your own structures or your own patterns and phrases along the way. So the pri primary creative goal for you would be to explore your right hand and the left hand is going to hold like a chord pattern, a very simple chord pattern. So without any delay, let's get cracking. Uh, how I normally like to teach my lessons is you need to get your pianos out, keep it on, keep it ready, be as loud as me or around the same volume. And if you can, all of these exercises, all of these patterns as we flow through the lesson are notated for you and waiting for you on our Patreon page. Head over there. It's a lot of notation, so it might help uh, for you to read it and play along. It's just a $5 per month subscription, and that doesn't only give you this lesson. It gives you everything we've done uh, before in the past and whatever we are going to do in the future. And it'll be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and that bell which will give you reg the regular notifications and updates for our lessons. And if you like the lesson, at the end of it all, do consider giving the video a like and leave us a comment with anything you'd like us to teach you in the future and also what you thought about this particular lesson. Right, guys, let's get cracking. So in the left hand for the entire lesson, we are just going to play a good old D minor chord. I'm just taking D minor, I quite like it. So you go in this particular arpeggio style. So it's D, A, F, A, D, A, F, A, D. Yeah, so the way I'm counting this arpeggio pattern would be L, H, M, H, L, H, M, H. And we are playing it in eighth notes where the beat is being divided into two units. So one and two and three and four. And so L, H, M, H, L. So this is going to be or this is going to serve as the foundation for all of our efforts on the piano and the right hand is going to be creative. So throughout this lesson, I'm not going to be talking much. I just want you to follow along and I want you to play along with me as I tell you what to play, try to play and don't feel disheartened if you're not getting it with me. Uh, there is definitely going to be the notation available and you can re-watch the video or you could just take a chunk out of the video. There will be chapter markers so you can use that to kind of help you or hopefully that uh, motivates you and pushes you to do all of the variations which I have for you. Don't miss out anyone. So the left hand is sorted and until the end of the video, the left hand is just going to play D minor which is DFA in the L low, H high middle, high fashion. L, H, M, H, L that's pretty much it. Okay, so now the right hand is going to go Follow me. Da, da, da. You can sing along if you will. Sa, re, ga, with swaras. The intervals are one, two, three in the D minor scale. Play along. Da, da, da. That's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, now that we are acquainted with that, let's go. Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. So we have so far D E F D E F. Now let's do. Ta -da -da. Then again. Ta -da -da. Now let's come down. T And then maybe ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Okay, let's keep fooling around. Let's repeat those things. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Now 
now starting on the f la 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 don't stop your left hand la da da now descending la da da la da da and maybe la da da pa ma sa Let's come a bit down and go something like this. Okay, so that's two bars. So that's a minim in the beginning, and then two quavers. Quaver, crotch it. semi brief 2 3 4 hold that when it's a semi brief hold it down for four talk together with me ta ra re ra la ri ra 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 now you play along with me play na re ra ru ru you Okay, one more tune coming your way. La da, la la, la da, le da, la da, te. So that's one and and three and. Dum, da da, come on. Dum dum, te da. Don't lose your left hand. Te da, dum dum, da da, dum dum. Another one. Ti da 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 and wait. Tight note there. Ti da da de da da. Don't worry too much about your fingers. Maybe you could start with the index. Da 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 da. Slide down or maybe with your middle would work better. On second thought, if you want to. Assign a note to every finger. Come on, te ra ra re or cross. Te ra. One more time. Ta ra 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 re re. Don't forget the left hand is just doing this, right? Te ra 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 ra. Okay, come on, one more. Te ra te ra ru. So no one, one. Tang 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 te ta ra ro ro. So it starts on the two, one, two and three and four and one and two and three and wait, one. Tang 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 tang. Slightly tricky where the phrase is not at the one. So here we go. Tan tan te ra he ro te ra ro ro. One more time. Te ra he re ra he ro re ra ro ro. Only you. Tan tan ting tan do ting ta ro ro. Simple notes. Te ra he re ra he ro re ra he ro ro. Okay, so keep that going. Don't don't lose your left hand. Okay, now we are going to get a little bit more tricky. La da da di da da. Okay. La da da di da da. Let's break down only the right hand. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and. A two e and a three e and a four. So I'm dividing by four. In the earlier instances, I was just dividing by two because the melody didn't go into those one e and a sixteenth note divisions, right? So the dotted quaver, that dotted trotch, it right. One e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a dotted quarter note. So. One e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. One more time. See the notation. 
One E and a two E and a three and a four E and a... if you don't read, it's okay. Follow along, please. And one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a one E and a two E and a... only the melody without me mumbling. Is how it sounds. Okay, only you. Sing along, sing and play. Na 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 na. If singing is tough initially, you can lose the left hand and get the singing to align with the right hand. No compromises. You need the left hand, you need the singing, and you need the right hand. Think of the right hand as the fruits or the flowers of a tree, wherein you don't. get those fruits or those flowers unless you have a strong foundation okay that's the left hand and that's singing with a lot of purpose so let's do another one this is a bit easy you you kind of skip three beats and go one and two and three and ta da 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 needs a little bit of discipline to not play the one so One and two and now, da 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 da. That's pa ma pa pa re sa. That's pa ma pa ma ga re sa. Pa ma pa ma ga re sa. So one again now. Pa ma pa ma ga re sa. Pa ma pa ma ga re sa. So we can play the two melodies. which we just recently learned i could call them as dorian melodies because they go over the d dorian scale la 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 it's kind of like playing c major but starting on d you get that very brave i love this scale anyway coming back so la 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 That's what we learned earlier, and now, pa ma 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 ga re sa, pa ma pa ma ga re sa. And if you're if finding it a bit overwhelming, just play a single D, but hold the pulse D. Four, one, two, and then the counter, almost like a Q and A. Like a question and answer thing, question, and then the answer, and you can have like the same answer if you wish, and then repeat. That's two answers to the same question, like. Now this interests me. So their answer, maybe the call or the call and response question and answer, the call could kind of be the same. Like da 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 da, you know. And then you could have different answers. La da 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 da, or da 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 da. Or you could do a small, a slightly different call or a slightly different question. Maybe. Maybe that. So the original question was. Remember that, and the original answer was. La 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 la, which came in at the three of the bar. Let's do that once more. You play along. I'm going back to my arpeggio. Answer. Okay, now I'm messing with the question. How did that change? Now, 
C B A B C D C B A B C D so earlier it was C B A B G A now so notes are changing slightly at the end it's a mi- minor change but it makes the melody speak out and carry forward you know a, a communication or a story and we are retaining the same rhythmic patterns you don't have to worry about the rhythm the rhythm is pretty much the same na 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 ine na same as and don't worry too much about fingering you can land at it somewhere and then original then and then maybe the answer could be instead of uh pa ma pa ma ga re sa na pani pa ma ga re sa pani the seventh degree is ni pani pa ma ga re sa pa pa sa you can even climb there if you wish so we have then then so let's put that together lot of options as you can see even if we retain the rhythm pattern lot of options now now hi sa let's do that again pani pa ma ga re sa pa sa pa ma ga re sa pa sa pa ma ga re sa pani pa ma ga re sa pa sa pa ma ga re sa okay so that could work one question Another kind of question. What were the original ones again? Then it changed to stuff like that, and then original answer. Another modification. Okay, let's try a few more options. This is getting to be a bit of fun. So. quite like that i'm just on the scale just messing around with different note combinations same rhythm ni sa ni da sa pa sa pa ni flat 7th then squares then maybe if you like now you have to figure out fingering i would play that way and the earlier one which i came up with you need to cross to the g or the f the third flat okay then maybe that's quite easy So different question different answer slightly even another one there we go okay let's change this let's play something else try and follow along okay that's one tune And that's a small modification. F G A F C A F G A F D A. So let's keep it simple first with just quaver, quavers or eighth notes. Let's not do any dotteds. We'll try and modify it shortly. Uh, there will be a lot of variations. There are a lot in my head. So let's see what comes out. It's also quite natural, even for me doing this lesson. Come to think of it. So. pa re ra ru tha ra okay play that so that's 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 
modification the modific modifications are c a or d a ni pa or sa pa hi sa Now let's mess with that. Check this out. So I'm taking my C at the end of the bar, at the four end of the bar. That leaves me to play that A at the one of the next bar. I am not anticipating it like how I did earlier. Right? Earlier was then two and three and four and four and and it ended and then I held it on. Hence the tied note. Now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Same thing with a higher D. And four and one more time. That's a dotted at the C, or just before the C, rather. Again. speed it if you wish or slow it down if you wish let's do another variation okay that's a bit weird let me count it for you 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 so it's the and of the next bar not on the one on the and so slightly trickier because your left hand does not move And two and three and four and one and two, two of the ends. Let's do it with the D. And two and three and four and one and two and three. So we've come a long way so far, I think. Three and four and one and two and three. One more time. One and two and three and four and one. Let's come up with another variation. I think one and two, one and two. And. Okay, I like that quicker uh, semi quaver. One and two and a three and four and one and two. Two of the ends. Okay, one and two and a three and four and one and two and three. You still keep the ends. One and two. it one more time slowly one and two and a three and four and one and two three and four and now and two and a three okay now let's like kind of bring it all together and do something like this one two three one maybe three counts of the first note one So at the four, you're gonna have a four semi quaver cluster. And two and three and let's do it with the D. One and two and three and so just get the fingering of what I'm doing clearly. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So I'm just moving my pinky up. So let's try one more variation. Uh, this is going to be fun. One e and let me come up with it first. One e and a two. So that's like a dotted quaver at the beginning. One e and a two e and like a thresio. Ta chuk ta ta one e and a two and that rhythm. One e and a two. Slightly tricky. And the gap is important. One e. I've kept the gap so that your mind can kind of re refresh itself and you know prepare for the next one. Otherwise, if there are too many notes, I I think it may get cluttered if you're new to this stuff. One e. And a two e. And a three. And a, keep that one e. And a two e. And a three. And a four e. We've come from there. 
to maybe something like can even do like a tuck it tuck it juno tuck it it just helps to with the counting process one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a. don't lose the left hand one e and a two e and a three and and now you can create your own variations right so just that can give you a lot of time on the piano i feel so in conclusion with today's lesson i thought we'll bring in all or some of whatever we've learned so far melodically with these short phrases and just move the left hand a bit so the left hand chords i have for you in this lesson are well i'll change it around a bit d minor play that twice each chord twice then you can do this chord so all i am doing is i am moving my pinky to the c d a f m then c second chord third chord that's b g f g b g f g third chord and the fourth chord then you could drift towards b flat there so d a f a d now bring your pinky down now pinky even more down and the thumb comes to g this is like a g 7th over b and then i love this chord this is a, like a b flat major 6th just dropping the b to the b flat let's do that again d this is my left hand so d minor f major b b flat major 6 one more time play along with me slowly sorry that's f major and now g over b b flat major 6 and bring in some of the old melodies remember this with maybe this one then maybe variation and then bring in the answer make it more epic with the chords build up your dynamics get a bit louder do whatever you wish following this improvisation or if you want to go through it a bit more there's a midi file available of pretty much whatever i'm playing so you could import it you could import it into your computers or your midi player app and see how it goes or play pretty much the same melody
Okay, so let's just have some fun with this for a few more seconds. Remember, my left hand is playing the chords. If you can shift to play these chords, well and good. If not, just stick with our good old friend D minor. Okay. And the basic tunes I think we've crafted throughout the lecture is, you know, right? Then we have that, and then this one. So you could kind of play around with that as well as the old melodies which I gave you in the very beginning, which is like stuff like that, simpler stuff. So go through it in a sequence, maybe later. Just gonna fool around for a few more seconds and see if you can sing a phrase. So a few ways to fool around well on the piano would be to maybe sing a phrase and then try to copy it on the keys. So la da da di da da di da. La da da di da da di da di. Even though I left the scale, I think it's fine. La di da da di da da. Da 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 da. La di di da 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 di da da. you may not get it la di da de la da da de la da de de do do de de do de la de 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 ah la de da there we go ta do do de or just fool around without singing So that's about it guys so like i said in the uh, uh, while i was talking at some point even i got lost uh, and carried away here and there so like i said at the beginning or during the lesson all of the notes are available on our patreon page and in this lesson we have notes which i have staff notated for you it's available as a printable pdf there's also midi files so whatever i played now is available as midi if you're interested if you want to like brainstorm it or scrutinize it further it's available for you as a downloadable thing on our patreon so that's about it so i hope at the end of this lesson you have the you you you, you gain some confidence to improvise and coordinate your hands and also have a reality check this is what i can do at the moment as a piano player and this is what i need to do because you can't just play the right hand without the left hand on this instrument impossible you'll have to kind of choose another instrument then like the voice or the violin so uh try to improvise with always with something in the left hand or if you want to improvise in the left hand with something in the right hand right guys thanks a ton for watching the lesson again this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music if you'd like to learn a course with us in detail you can head over to nathanielschool.com all the links are in the description if you are a first time viewer of or if you haven't subscribed do consider hitting the subscribe and the bell icon for regular notifications and do check out our channel for a few more lessons which are coming your way stuff in the past is always there but our channel will keep growing with your support of course Cheers and catch you in the next one